you know, you just, your family is incomplete forever. My first daughter, her name is Emma. She was still born on May 28th of 2011. They um, had a totally uncomplicated pregnancy with their first one. And then at her due date, when she went in for a normal appointment, they found that their first daughter, Emma, had passed away. When I delivered um, Emma, um, one of the things that uh, my doctor at that time um, really wanted us to do is to make sure that um, we had appropriate support um, afterwards. So um, they provided um, a list of uh, resources available in the area um, that help uh, parents of baby uh, children. And one of the um, resources available was the HEAL program at Atrium uh, Medical Center um, that is led by Sherry Young. It was two months after Emma died in June of 2011 that I first went to uh, the parent group and uh, met um, Sherry in person and um, she was absolutely amazing. Virginia had this strong need that she needed to share Emma's story with some other folks who had been through this very same thing. If your child is alive, you know, you want your child to matter, right? You want their life to matter and when they're when they die so early, that's even more. That becomes, you know, your goal in life, to make sure that they matter, that they're remembered. Those little babies were real because somebody didn't meet them personally or because they didn't have years of exposure to them um, at every holiday and every family event. Doesn't mean to these parents that they are not the most important things in the world. They are. Um, because they died doesn't change that. And, and our, our motto is that they lived before they ever died. Um, so focus on their life. Share, share them with other people and however you can do that. And I think that's always troublesome. You know, subsequent pregnancies in the, in the event of the death of a, a previous child has, is, takes on just such a burden for families for a lot of reasons. I didn't want anyone to think or her to think that we were replacing her. Really, it was a little bit of a no-brainer uh, for us. Uh, the choice um, uh, to go to Atrium was very clear. Um, I had uh, learned um, a lot more about the hospital, um, the facilities and the care they provided, but truly what really sold it for me was um, because of the HEAL program, I knew the kind of kind of care that they provide, how much they care about their patients. This is such a troubling time for parents while everybody in the rest of the world says, oh, you're pregnant, things are going to be great, things are going well. Every morning, parents who have had a child die wake up and say, is something going to happen to this baby today? When you have had a pregnancy with a bad outcome in the past, no matter what it is, you are going to have extra anxiety with the next pregnancy. And every patient is different in how we as the physician can help you. But number one is keep the communication line open. I was referred to um, Dr. Boyce um, by several people. And um, so I went in to see her and um, right away, I, um, I felt very comfortable with her. I, I really liked her because she, she asked about Emma. She wanted to know um, about her. She wanted to know what happened. And uh, she made me feel um, very comfortable. From the beginning, I wanted to, to help her through this and help give her the best outcome in a beautiful baby, a beautiful, healthy baby that she could take home and love. She knew how I felt, uh, she knew what my concerns were, and um, she was just so bested on making sure everything was okay um, with the extra care that they took, um, all the things that they did. Uh, she took extra steps such as, um, you know, saying, 
give me her per personal cell phone number if I ever needed to call her. I mean, doctors don't do that. <laughs> I mean, that's amazing. I wanted Virginia to be comfortable being able to call someone if she needed them because she wasn't seeing everyone in the group like we recommend most patients do. And we were really gonna try to coordinate this delivery so that she would be delivered by myself or Dr. Reina, someone that she knew and was comfortable with to make her delivery, which was going to be extra stressful, better for her. There is nothing like that little cry of these babies when they're born alive and healthy. And to know parents have endured the worst and now um, are enjoying this, this wonderfully healthy new baby like Isabella. I knew this was going to be a really hard and difficult event and very different from her first experience and then very happy once the baby came out and was healthy. And it is, it's one of my most memorable deliveries. And as soon as the baby came out, there was tears of joy everywhere and much hugging and much relief. This is Isabella. This is my second daughter and she was born at Atrium. We are so grateful that they did everything they did to ensure that she arrived safely and healthy. And she's a beautiful baby girl and we're just absolutely crazy in love with her.